This is a podcast from the Nuffield Department of Medicine. Today, we are asking Dr. John Christensen to tell us about his research on cleaning up misfolded proteins. Hi, John. So why is it important for the body to clean up um, proteins? Well, proteins are the machinery of the body. Mm -hmm. And so like any machine, it's proper or it's, uh, it's important that it functions correctly. And, and this usually happens in the cells. The cells are pretty good at making uh, making uh, the, 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 the proper architecture and structure, but occasionally under certain conditions and if you have any changes in the, in the genome, those proteins aren't made correctly. Mm -hmm. And so when they're not made correctly, the cell has a problem and it has to get rid of them. I see. What part of this process does your research focus on? So my lab works on actually the degradation mechanism. So how those misfolded proteins are actually recognized as misfolded and differentiated from those that are correctly folded. And then how that misfolded protein is then targeted for degradation and proteolysis within the cell. Mm -hmm. um, and what kind of things can happen when this process that you've just talked about goes wrong? Oh, so misfolded proteins are obviously bad for the cell. So mis misfolding can cause one of two, one of two things. So if the, the misfolded protein uh, is, is, is destroyed, it's not made correctly, or it's, it's made incorrectly and it's destroyed, then we end up with a loss of function. So okay. an important gene that the cell needs to survive is lost from, from the cell and then the cells die. So a common or, or malfunction. So a common example of this would be uh, the gene that's responsible for the disease cystic fibrosis. Mm -hmm. So this is a protein that has a single point mutation that causes that protein uh, to not be made at the level that it should be made. And when that's not made, we end up with a, physi a physiological manifestation that is the cause of the disease. The other issue that may happen when a protein misfolds is that uh, it is not recognized for degradation when it should be. Mm. And these are commonly called protein aggregation diseases, and these are at the, ro at the root uh, or at the heart of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Huntington's disease. What are the most important lines of research that have developed in the past five or 10 years? Well, I think one of the things that we're really starting to appreciate is the diversity of, of, of regulation that goes on overseeing protein misfolding, what, what we like to call quality control. Mm. So there are large gene families within the cell that, that, that generate proteins that are responsible for overseeing the integrity or the fidelity of the proteome. Like what we talk, what we, that's how we refer to it. And, and so what's been a, a major advancement over the past you know, five to 10 years is a real appreciation for the diversity of how that, that system is working. The other very interesting aspect that, that's been developing is the idea that you can use degradation as a potential uh, uh, target for therapeutics. Mm -hmm. One of the best examples is the, the drug bortezomib or Velcade, which has been used to target multiple myeloma mm -hmm. and certain other uh, uh, hematological malignancies. And those, uh, those small molecules work by inhibiting the degradation process. And what that does is that it leads to a, an increase in the level of cellular stress to the point where the cells no longer are able to function. In a normal cell, that would be really bad mm -hmm. for the cell. But in a cancer cell, that's what we want to do. We want to kill that cancer cell. So Thanks. this is a specific way that, that we can target those, uh, those particular cancer cells. I see. Why does this line of research matter? Why should we put money into it? Well, I think, you know, from my perspective, we work on, on basic molecular mechanisms, trying to understand the root cause of, of, of cellular function which underlies many different kinds of diseases. So from our standpoint, we're working to try to delineate those components that are responsible for, for, for maintaining, in our case, quality control or fidelity of the proteome, and then looking at those in the case of, of normal cells, but then also in the case when, when this process malfunctioned mm -hmm. as a possibility to identify components that may be able to be, uh, that may be suitable uh, for therapeutic intervention. And how does your research fit into translational medicine within the department? So the department obviously has a, has a broad range of interests and, and my lab works particularly at the basic level. So as I mentioned earlier, we're interested in trying to understand those molecular components 
and identifying those that are important in this process. And the long-term goal is with collaborators and colleagues within the department is that we may be able, we may be able to develop uh, targets and, and, uh, and assays that may be suitable for development of therapeutic interventions, interventions in, the, in the form of small molecules. That's great, John. That was very interesting. Thank you. Thank you.